Before this video begins, if you haven't watched part one of the Aaron SMP video, you should go watch so you can avoid spoilers and other many other things. <laughs> Aaron was more than prepared for the Aaron SMP Bamboo War. He literally built a gunpowder farm and a gold farm. He and Mason hanged some maps up for their secret base. They also made chairs for the um, war table. They also used blackstone to outline the ba de and decorate the inside of the base. They put up some of the lanterns so it lights up the area. When I log on, I haven't found the base yet, but I found out that Aaron was building a bamboo for us. I chopped down some of the bamboo, and I kept destroying bamboo for not a particular reason. I, I think I would be, instead of being on the bamboo resistance or the bamboo revolution, I would be more of a bamboo destroyer side. I searched the tiger biome that we found the village in, and I found a tower in the other direction and I, it was in another nearly destroyed house Aaron exploded the house and did a lot of griefing to which I find was Hudson's house and Aaron was trying to find Hudson's secret base which never actually existed I searched the house and s stole some stuff this really does explain the tension between both the Bamboo Revolution and the Resistance. Liam was a spy for Hudson and Aaron, but Aaron thought he was against Hudson, but really he was just spying for him. I first found Aaron in Mason's place by curiosity, and I found nether netherrack around wood planks, so I decided to dig for the netherrack. Found the Bamboo Resistance war base. I, at the time of thief, on the air SMP stole the bone blocks of the skeleton Aaron Mason found. I crafted a lot of bone meal and decided to plant a small garden. Mason got almost maxed out enchantment armor on Aaron SMP. Aaron made a small sh short private video on YouTube warning the Bamboo Revolution on how stacked they were. For at that time the Bamboo Resist Revolution intentions were basically two words, chaos and war. They wanted to create as much chaos and monarchy as they wanted. They also wanted to do plant a lot of bamboo. And the bamboo resistance was just, was just to stop all the chaos. A few days passed and there was bamboo everywhere. Aaron made the obsidian plate in, in the middle of the ocean. The bamboo revolution didn't even have not the right. They didn't want to do it. Last second. Aaron offered them each full netherite so they could do the war. The bamboo revolution decided to think about it. And all out of all of this, I was actually excited to see the first war on the SP. I got on the day of the war, but nothing happened. They were playing something different and really the war just really ended without any action. Both sides got sidetracked and didn't want to have the war. They didn't show up and the war just drifted away. Aaron added another layer to his house and made it the enchanting room, which of course didn't have a roof. The war room stayed the same with the same items and all of that things. Aaron went on to netherite to nether to grab massive amounts of netherrack magma and also lava and built an entire mountain out of netherrack and magma. It was a massive success and Aaron sent me a picture of it on Discord. But I was alarmed when I saw it. It was so massive I was afraid to cover my castle, which was from the beginning of the SMP. I actually it actually didn't and it was more massive than I thought. Aaron seeing the amount of rage I was going through, he decided to help me and give me full netherite. He used a wool from my sky base to make lots of beds so he can bombard the nether for a netherite. He found some netherite and used his gunpowder from the creeper farm to get a stack of netherite. This was a gigantic grapefruit of for Aaron on the Aaron SMP. 
I didn't know that the fact that he had the nether and he surprised me with full nether and it had a little few enchantments on it. Um, I actually was a little mad that day, so I wanted to die on the SMB, lose some of the netherite, and it was pretty stupid because Aaron worked hard for the netherite. Aaron thought I was looking for the, a lava tool to throw my netherite in it, but I wasn't really that noob in Minecraft, and I wasn't trying to kill my- I was really trying to kill myself in Minecraft. Ended up accepting the gift, and me and- Aaron and Mason took a picture next to Bamboo Forest. Crew saw it and got jealous, so Aaron gave him full netherite. Mason built a house for Cruz using many different blocks, and it was right next to a spawn on the Aaron SP. Featured a wheat farm and a gate that led to the house. It was still stands on the SP today. Aaron started to move out of the base he was living in. He created a quest hub for the Aaron SMP, where if you did something, you earn loot. Nobody did that, but he built a quest hub. Aaron moved out of the base and abandoned Mason. Aaron sincerely invited Katie on the SMP to play and gave her some stuff just like how he did to every other member. I was pouring the SMP on horse and I found stuff Aaron already found, such as witch hut, swamp, jungle and most importantly this snow biome i killed myself so i could get back to spawn of the Aaron S B. then i found village the village a village and decided to make a base there and make it secret but aaron somehow found me and got me out of there i went through the nether and went back to the spawn again it was at that moment i realized i wanted to build a minecraft base and yes Okay, so Aaron built a small prison. Kitty went to his creeper farm, but accidentally destroyed the farm. When the farm malfunctioned, the creeper exploded the farm. I don't know how, but Aaron didn't even notice. Kitty played on the SMP, but she sometimes never played. Aaron decided to make a new base west of Swan on the SMP. Made it out of prismarine and other blocks left over from the ocean monument. He also made an item sorter, but stopped. Mason was actually kind of mad that Aaron abandoned him. Aaron didn't care, so Mason, out of nowhere, he leaked the cords of Aaron's secret base on the to sewer server. Drama happened, and Aaron was kind of mad, and he decided to track him down and kill him. He found him somewhere on the SMP and started stabbing him. Aaron was really Mason was really low and couldn't fight him, so he ran, and Aaron chased him. Being very scared and low on health, he logged off. This started something that would end in a long time. Who would win? Would Aaron get revenge? And most importantly, would the SMP go back to normal? I'm sorry, but this will be another cliffhanger. Part 3 of the Aaron SMP will be released, and it will be the last part of the Aaron SMP. Thank you for watching, and goodbye.